What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to show you how to flash an ISO image to a USB stick to make it bootable. So the first step you can take is you can just go to your search engine and type in Rufus and you can find their official website to download their application that can be used to flash ISO images. You can scroll down and you can go right here. It looks like it's the second option in this case just to download the portable version of their applications for Windows 64. I've already installed it, so I'm going to go ahead and just run it real quick. All right, so once you've opened up the application, you're going to want to make sure this is your device should be, um, if your USB device is already plugged into your device, it should automatically be located and present here. As you can see, I have a 16 gigabyte USB stick and it found it right here. I'm going to want to make sure boot selection says disk or ISO image. And then once that's selected, you can go here. And you can locate your ISO image after you've installed it. In this case, I've Linux Mint that I'm going to flash this USB. You can leave this as MBR um, for the partition scheme, and you can leave this the same as well. And you can go ahead and leave this as default and go ahead and just hit start begin the process of flashing it. So keep in mind, um, after you flash this ISO image to your USB stick, all the data on it will be erased. So if there's anything important on it, make sure you back it up somewhere else before doing this. All right, okay. Now I can't download in the current application. Is it automatically present? Okay, yes. All that on the run was destroyed. All right, yeah, go ahead and continue. So this is just downloading some extra things that it needs automatically, um, and it's going ahead and flashing the ISO image as well. As you can see, it doesn't take too long. Should be done in just a moment. I'm gonna pause this just in case it takes too long. Oh, wait, never mind. There it goes. Pause. All right, so it's just finished installing. Once it's done, the status will say ready right here, and it's good to go. So from this point, you can just close this application. USB device is bootable at this point so all you need to do now is you can go into your BIOS settings and you can change the boot order to select the USB to be selected from first um, in the boot order and then it should boot up into your new operating system. Alright, that's it for this one. Take care.